Hello, time to do an example uh, consumer choice problem uh, when given a table of total utility and some kind of budget constraint. So there is some calculus on the back end using indifference curves. I encourage you to look that up, learn more about it. It's not the example I'm going to do here. I'm going to do kind of a simplistic example. Um, so here's the, here's the setup here. So this person has a budget of $16. Okay, so that's their budget constraint. Uh, they can buy MP3s, and the price of an M one MP3 is two dollars. Price of a, they can also download movies. Price of a movie is five dollars. Okay, uh, this is their total utility. This is the total utility, and uh, so what I need to do is I need to to in order to maximize my utility. In other words, become happiest, given that I have some kind of budget constraint. Um, I can't just buy all the MP3s because if you look, uh, the marginal happiness seems to be decreasing, right? I seem to be not getting as happy with uh, the third and fourth MP3. Similarly, over here, I don't want to just uh, just buy movies because my marginal utility for movies, in other words, my additional happiness, really seems to decline after the second movie, right? So. Um, so that's not going to work either. So what I got to do, there's a formula, and the formula is that the, the marginal utility of the first good over the price of the first good needs to equal the marginal utility of the second good over the price of the second good. And once that, it, given uh, that I have some kind of budget, okay, where, where the budget is satisfied. Um, again, there, there's further and better explanations of how this, how I got to this, uh, and I encourage you to keep studying that. But uh, I'm just skipping steps, I guess here. So to get this number, I already have price, right? So uh, in order to get this number, uh, I need to go ahead and just uh, take the mar take this number here and divide it by the price. So that's pretty easy. So I don't really care about the zero units. Um, it's kind of silly. So uh, I'll just cross those out. They're not gonna not gonna be useful. Okay, so 14 over 2 is 7. Just gonna copy these down. Uh, 10 over 5, 10 over 2 is 5. 8 over 2 is 4. 6 over 2 is 3. Uh, then over here, the price is 5. So uh, 100 over 5 is 20. Uh, 20 over 5 is 4. Now I'm not that not that good, so. Uh, let's go with 14 over 5, and we just write around 3. It's 2.8, so fraction number there. Uh, and then right there is 2. Okay, so I'm looking for which combinations uh, are going to equal, and uh, already I can I can see I'm never really going to do this one, so that's that's done. Uh, I'm never going to do these two because over here. Um, that one's that one's higher so I'm kinda looking in here and so I, I see a 4 and a 4 and that would give me something like this 4 equals 4 and so let's see if I can afford that so remember I have tw I have $16 to spend so um, here it's uh, 3 mp3s times 2 so that would be th uh, $6 spent on mp3s and then uh, two movies, and the movies are five dollars each. So I'm going to be spending ten dollars on movies. Does that work? Sixteen plus, or sorry, ten plus six is sixteen. So uh, looks good to me. So it looks like I've satisfied the constraint, and so just kind of follow the steps, and you'll get there.